river pit in a disaster, but a snapshot of heroism instead. Good morning, America. I am sorry, Robin Roberts, Chris Cuomo, and Sam Champion, both live on the scene. And Robin, you were phoning in minute by minute reports as this was happening. I was sitting on my couch in my living room overlooking the Hudson when the plane went by, and it was uh, just a stunning image, as you can imagine. And then the legion of ferry boats that rushed to, to help, the Coast Guard was there, the divers from a helicopter to the plane, an incredible response from everyone on that river. That's right. We should say, by the way, where the plane went down was about 54 feet deep. So it was serious water out there in the middle of the Hudson, and the ferry boats took the passengers across the Hudson every day, but one of the passengers on this day took a photo, and there it is. In most of these events, one photo becomes the iconic image. This is it, and you're going to meet the person who took that photo and hear the story coming up. Well, many people saw that photo. They said it's a fake. They yes. said that it couldn't possibly right. be real. It is, and the gentleman who took that photo, who's a businessman from Florida on the ferry, we'll talk to him. We're also going to hear from the ferry operators who helped pull people from those icy, icy waters. But first, as we've been saying all morning, by all accounts, the captain and the co-pilot of, of U.S. Airways Flight 1549 are true heroes. There is the pilot himself. New York Mayor credited that pilot, Chesley Sullenberger III, they call him Sully, and his co-pilot, Jeff Skiles, with saving lives of everyone on board. Uh, who are they? What do we know about them this morning? ABC's John Berman has that. John? Good morning, Diane. Well, that wing sticking out of the water is floating testament to just how skillful these pilots are. Lead pilot Chesley Sullenberger. His bio says, quote, he has a history of achievement in safety. This morning, that sure sounds like the understatement of the century. More than 150 people may owe him their lives. Just listen to what all the eyewitnesses and passengers are saying about 57-year-old Chesley Sullenberger, or so 